Hello, this is Soul from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can add roughness to any material in Blender using this free add-on called the Quick Roughness Layers. It's a free Blender add-on, and thank you, uh, thank, let me see, I'm in deep for this add-on, and it works great. I'm going to link, leave a uh, link of the add-on in the description below this video. And once you've uh, accessed the site, you just put in the dollar amount here. It's it's free, but as I always say, to help the developer, you know, just give something to them. Once you've put the amount in there, you can put zero or a hundred dollars. Just click purchase. I've already purchased it. Well, that's why mine says purchase again, but it'll say purchase on your your end. So just click purchase, and then when it happens, and they confirm your email, it'll give you two links or two uh, files to download. Uh, the first file is are the maps, the imperfection maps, and then the second file is the add-on itself. So you download that onto your system. And once you've downloaded it, uh, you're going to have to unzip the second one. Let me see. So these are the two files that come in zip, uh, zip format. The add-on itself, leave it inside of the zip, zipped folder. But the uh, the maps, imperfection maps, unzip those, just left click on it. And I don't know if you have WinRare, whatever um, software you use to unzip your files, just click on that, extract the files, and extract them anywhere you want to. But I left everything in the same folder. And these are all the maps. And that's the same process for installing it. When you install it, edit preferences. You click on install and navigate to where you you've downloaded onto your system. It's going to say uh, it's only for Blender 2.83, but it's I'm using 2.82 right now, and it actually does work in 2.82. So I'm assuming or thinking that it'll, it'll work in any version of Blender that's 2.8 in that area, pretty much 2.81, 8.2, 8.3, and so on. So once you've installed it onto your system into Blender. After you've navigated to where you've download, downloaded it, click on Install Add-on. Let me type it in here so we can pull this up. You just put a check in the box there. And to access the folder that has the files, you'll have this option here, Preferences. Click on that. And then you're going to double-click on that file. And once you've done that, just click accept and it'll, it'll navigate to where the, your files are for the roughness maps. Once you've done that, you'll see it on the tool panel, which is right here at the bottom. And you'll, you'll start wondering, okay, this, here's the add-on, but where are the files? Just click refresh and it's right there. Now I'm going to go into cycles mode so you can see how this works. And it works really good. I've already tested it and it works great. Uh, I guess we can stay in Eevee. Eevee's a little bit faster. And I'm going to... The material for this cube is already set up, but it's it's not... Uh, we want a metallic material so we can see actually how the scratches actually look and work. So I'm going to go to the uh, texture tab here. And I'm going to go to... Oh, we're already in the right shader here the, for the viewport. Let's turn up the metallic. And we're going to turn up the specular and turn down the roughness. Now, it's just showing gray because that's what the environment, the world environment looks like. It's just gray. But we're going to change that. We're going to click on this drop down arrow. And we're going to use, let me see, use lights. And you can choose, this comes with default with Blender, this part of uh, the maps. These, uh, I think they're HDR, are world maps, HDR, HDRI maps. So you can choose any one you want, and we're just going to go with the default one. Once it's going to activate the uh, world map, you click on the uh, box that says Scene World, and it'll just use the scene lights for this scene. Now we have our cube here, and now we're going to use these maps, these roughness maps. And once you've clicked Refresh, it'll give you these uh, the default maps that come with the add-on. So left-click on that. And let's choose uh, this surface imperfection. 
and just add roughness. It may take a little bit. No, that was pretty fast. And just automatically just adds that roughness map to it. And you, could, you have to keep in mind that this isn't UV unwrapped. This is just a generic, uh, generic unwrapped model. And it works instantly. Now if you scroll down, you'll see some more options here, like the scaling of it, the amount of roughness that you want, the brightness of it, the contrast, and Z-Mass. Let's click on Z-Mass and see what that looks like. And with this, you can actually invert the mask to show less or more of the roughness. And you can you know, compound, so to speak, or pile on the roughness. Let's click on this uh, icon, once again, this option of the images right here again. And let's choose this one, add roughness. And it adds that to the top of the pre-existing roughness map. And it it's, it's just a really, really effective and simple, straightforward add-on that works great. And it's, and you can see how good this looks. I mean, this is just straight out of the box. We're not doing anything to it. We're just choosing maps and just clicking on Add Roughness, and it does it instantly. And without having to change any of the parameters, so to speak, it looks fine. And let's choose another map. Let's choose, let me see... I think there are some scratches in here. Let me go up a little bit. Uh, well, let's do this one. Smear. Add roughness. And it adds it. You can, and it stacks them up pretty pretty nicely. It's just straightforward. It, it stacks them up really nice. And it, I think it works great in cycles too. I, I believe it does actually, but in Eevee, it looks good also. So yeah, this is a really nice, simple, and straightforward uh, add-on that's free to use for any of your projects. And once again, let's just thank the developer for making this free for us to access. And this is today's Blender Quick Tip. And I hope it was helpful for those here, of you who are watching. Once again, thank you guys who have been watching the uh, videos and I help, hope it was helpful to all of you. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.